G'day, my name's Tony Sill with Datapath, and what we're going to do today is show you how to point the Q-Series GX terminal from Datapath. Uh, so what we have here uh, is the actual Q-Series terminal, and today we've got it bundled with our RPM 1000 ruggedized power module, which is providing us uh, battery power uh, to use the system. The Inmarsat Global Express uh, service uh, is a multi-satellite uh, global system which provides connectivity basically anywhere uh, in the world. So you can deploy the terminal uh, and get connectivity. Just, just uh, a couple of words on the actual pointing process. So we've already powered up the terminal uh, and as you can, you can hear audibly it's in pointing mode right now. Um, when the terminal powers up uh, it will acquire GPS and it'll determine which satellite it needs to point to. And first we'll go through a course point, uh, which will adjust us in the direction of the satellite. And then we'll go through a fine point to make sure that we've peaked up so that we can get the maximum throughput on the terminal. So uh, whilst we're in uh, course point mode, uh, you'll notice that the tones uh, are very slow. Uh, and using the LED uh, graphical uh, user interface here, uh, it'll show us which way to point. So what I'm looking at today, it's showing me that I need to move the terminal to the right uh, and also I need to move the terminal down. So I'm going to start using the, uh, the course point. I'm going to start slowly uh, moving the terminal in the direction that's telling me. Okay, now you hear now that the tones have changed, so it's a much higher frequency pitch and the LEDs have also changed as well. What that means is that we've moved into fine point mode. So now we're not just pointing towards the direction of the satellite, it means the terminal's actually received a receive lock. Uh, so we are fine pointing based on the satellite to noise ratio to get the best performance out of the terminal. So whilst we're in fine point mode, um, you'll notice on the crosshair that the lights are all lit up. And what we want to do to get to the, to the maximum pointing uh, is to get all the light, the green lights, are right to the, the edge of the, uh, of the crosshairs. Whilst you're going through this process, the terminal is also going to be going through a, a continuous calibration process to detect uh, the, the highest peak that we've just received. Uh, so you'll know one, that you've found a new peak when the crosshairs, uh, when all the lights uh, flash at the one time. So what I'm going to do now is firstly I'm going to uh, adjust uh, the azimuth, uh, the azimuth uh, fine pointing. So I'm finding new peaks here because uh, I'm seeing the crosshairs uh, light continually up. Now here you'll see that the, uh, the, the tones are going lower which means I've gone past the peak but it's good practice to go past the peak on both sides uh, just so that you make sure that you've, you are actually on the peak of the, uh, of the satellite signal. Okay, I'm now good with azimuth, so now I'm going to fine point uh, the elevation. Okay, so I'm going off the peak on elevation, so I'll now go back the other direction. Okay, I've just found a new peak. Okay, I've now gone past the peak, so I'll go back to the center. Okay, I'm now satisfied that I'm at the peak. So what I'll do, I put, I'll put, push uh, and hold the point button, um, and that'll take us out of pointing mode, and that'll allow the terminal then to start transmitting and bursting into the network. I can't emphasize enough the importance of doing a thorough fine point uh, because we are operating at KA band, which is a very high frequency, uh, and it'll be very susceptible to, to being mispointed, uh, which will have a direct impact uh, on the performance of your terminal. So now uh, the terminal is transmitting, uh, so we're looking at all our LED lights, uh, and they've all gone green, uh, including the net light, uh, which means uh, that we're ready to plug in our devices and start accessing the internet. If you'd like to get more information uh, on the Datapath Q-Series product or any of our, any of our other products, uh, please visit us at www.datapath.com.